Okay, we left off. In the last video, we found the feasible region by graphing all the linear equations. So now we have to find our optimal solution. And our optimal solution is going to be at a corner point of our feasible region. So, if we look over here, so once we get to this point, we have to refer back to our max our profit equation, which was 4x plus 4y. So from here, we have to plug in each of the corner points into the profit equation, and whatever gives us a higher value is going to be our optimal solution. So we have to use all our corner points. So our first corner point is at 0, 30, right? That's right over here. Another corner point is at the origin, right? Because that's the origin. That's a corner point. Another corner point is at 10, 0. Which is right over here, right? Yeah. So, and our another quarter point is at thirty zero. And we have two corner points that lie between the intersection of linear graphs, being over here and over here. So you may wonder, how can I find the intersection? between these two graphs. Well, first of all, you can just graph it on graph paper and just read it off the graph paper, but sometimes you don't you don't graph it very well, you know, like for example, I wouldn't be able to tell you precisely what these two corner points are. So, as you might suspect, well, this is the intersection of two linear equations, so what we have to do is to find the corner point is simply to put it in a matrix. So, let me go ahead and erase this top part over here. Okay, so this corner point lies between the intersection of this graph and this graph. And if you remember, so this graph over here and this one over here is what this intersection is. This intersection of these two equations. And if you look back at your constraints, that was the intersection of these two constraints, which are 3x plus 5y is less than or equal to 150, and 5x plus 3y is less than or equal to 150. So this corner point is the intersection of these two constraints. So what we have to do is simply put this in a matrix. So the matrix is going to give us a solution, the solution being where the two graphs intersect. So we just put 3, 5, 150. Then we have 5, 3, 150. So when we row reduce this, when we row reduce this, we simply get that that um, x equals 75 over 4, and that y equals 75 over 4, which is approximately 18 for each of them. So finally, we, we, we find what this corner point was, and we found that it was 75 over 4. 75 over 4. And of course, you can find this by simply just solving the simultaneous equations by getting the x by itself and plugging the x back in and so on. I just find putting it in a matrix is much more efficient than doing that. So finally, we have one more matrix to solve. So we find this intersection, we find this solution by capping the intersection of this linear line and this linear line. So now we have to find this intersection, which is the graph, the constraints of this linear line and this linear line. So, and those two constraints are 
are x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10. And then finally, uh, 5x plus 3y is less than or equal to 150. So the intersection of these two constraints will, gives us this quarter point right here. So just like the other problem, we just put this in a matrix. When we put it in a matrix, we get 1, negative 2, 10, then 5, 3, 150. So now we have to just row reduce this matrix. When we row reduce it, we find that x is equal to this fraction, 330 over 13. And that y equals 100 over 13. So this is our last corner point. 330 over 13, which is approximately maybe like 20, 21, 20 something. Y equals 100 over 13. Okay, so finally we have all our corner points. Now from here it's easy. All we have to do is plug in our X and Y values from each of our corner points into our profit equation and see which yields the highest value. Because that's what we're trying to find, we're trying to maximize profit. So the highest number is going to give us our maximum profit, which is going to be our optimal solution. So when we plug in 0 for x and 30 for y, we get 120. So we can call this dollars, $120. When we plug in 0, 0, as you might suspect, it's just we get 0, we get no profit. When we plug in 10, 0, we get $40. When we plug in 30, 0, we get $120. When we plug in 75 over 4 and 75 over 4, we get $150. And finally, when we plug in 330 over 13 for x and 100 over 13 for, for y, we get approximately $132. So what's the biggest value here? It, well, it's um, at this corner point because it gives $150. So finally the optimal solution, I'm going to put over here, optimal solution is at 75 over 4, 75 over 4, which yields profit of $150. So we solve the linear programming problem. So it's a, I like, this, I like these problems because it's a useful application of linear algebra in the business industry. So it's a good problem. It's important to know. So I hope you guys understand. If you have any questions, leave comments and see you guys next time.